Dong Zhuo has seen enough chaos in the land and now sends out Lu Bu into the Anding Commandery to put down the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Lu Bu is eager to test out his blade in combat and commands his army to stay behind while he kills hundreds of peasant warriors. Fear and terror are blades to Dong Zhuo. To the west of Anding, Han Sui was a neutral party in the current wars. He wouldn't bend the knee to Dong Zhuo or aid him against the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Because of his weakness, Lu Bu was once again sent out to go take him down. He was killed and his lands were lost. To the east, Yuan Shu summons his armies. To the north, the Bandit Queen marches. Gong Du continues to blight our lands. Lu Bu, Zheng Liao, and Xu Rong continue their hunt of these rebels. Welcome back everyone. It's time to put away Gong Du. Though catching him is going to prove to be difficult. He's got an inherent buff to his campaign movement speed, which is why we can't catch up to him. To duty. I plan Many on destroying today. all of Gong Du's land. If I do that, he'll have no home to come back to. Right now we can't reach him, but we can reach Wu Du, or at least the Silk Trader over in Wu Du. Ma Ting is about to lose everything. Before we kill them, let's demand surrender. They don't want to give up. We'll fight a night battle whenever we get back. Attack. But I want to manage my empire before we do that. Li Ru is now back in Chang'an. We have a new child. All right, another child. Dong Zhuo has been quite busy. Two more buildings are complete now. I ended my turn, that way we would have a fresh turn. Two of my characters leveled up. And the price of treachery. Dong Zhuo was able to execute another enemy of ours. Ma Ting has a new capital, only one capital, but that will vanish very, very soon. Gong Du has a large army. I could see him potentially being able to take a town from me, but I really hope he's unable to do so. Let's go look at my public order. My public order could be much better. An Ding is about to have another rebellion, meaning that I'll need to go up there to help out later. Jin Ching, your public order is really not that great. I want to tax you, but again, that would be way too much. Let's keep on building cheap buildings until we get more money. I do have my food trader. I'll keep it for now. I'm losing some food production, but we're gaining a touch more money. I'll change it up later. For Jin Ching, what can we build over here? Tribal horse breeders would be quite nice to have. I'll get a much larger garrison. There's actually a lot of quality buildings here that could help me make money and engage in trade. Jin Ching is quite good. I'll take that tribal horse breeders right there. Who am I going to send out on assignment today? It really depends. I need to make sure that I have whatever I need for more replenishment. Li Ju is back at court. I'm not trying to summon in more units right now. That would not be a good idea. I do not own the capital of Liu Yang, so I can't send anyone over there. I could have these boys come back over to the west and replenish. That could be a decent idea. Their job is to ambush anyone and beat them, but they need a much larger army for that. We'll move them over to Chang'an. And for now, we can work on replenishment. Dong Zhuo, you know what to do. Now they should be able to heal up a bit faster whenever they get over there. I still have some money, and it's time for us to fight a battle. We've got someone to kill. Here we go. Here's our first battle for the day. I'm going to try a new format, and you can let me know what you think about it. For now, though, I'm going to keep all of the unit icons on. I do understand it's a little bit harder to make out units because of the nature of the game. And over time, whenever I feel like there's a good time for it, I'll switch to a more cinematic mode, but not for the entire battle. Our men have been Let me know what you think, what you would like more. But for now, Lu Bu is having his archers go out to burn down the towns. He doesn't have to be very intelligent, only cunning. And right now, our enemies are waiting here alone. Once we burn down their towers, we can then advance and destroy more of them. We do not have many archers, but it also means that we have a great chance to entangle every single enemy unit in a fight. If you look at it right now, they're all alone over here. And we will try to duel later on. I don't know who might come out, but someone will come out. Usually people try to avoid Lu Bu, meaning that it'll probably be our good buddy, Zhang Liao. Let's go back out real quick. 
over here you can see where my army is at my archers are over here on the left flank they just went up there to cause a fire back here i have all of my officers on the front lines behind them we have all of our infantry swordsmen spearmen halberds and more swordsmen and spearmen right behind them on our fourth line Jingle Liao is now moving up. It's time for him to check out what our enemies are up to. And I will always try to continue to improve. So if you give me feedback, I do read it. And I will take it into consideration. As right now, you can see that not too much is going on beyond Jing Liao moving over here towards their town. There's a grand fire. And I don't know if any of the characters here are notable. None of the names ring a bell, so I don't need to really talk about them. My archers continue to attack, and it looks like Jing Liao is going to be able to find someone to duel. That's always my goal. Yeah. While we're just letting our archers shoot off fire volleys at them, let's watch him travel right in. He's like, hey, pardon me. I'm coming in whether you like it or not. But now, there's a battle to fight. That was quick. They missed each other. Get to watch a battle play out. She's pretty tough. I don't know if she has what it takes, but we're gonna find out. So far, he's on the defensive. Well, that's going on. Let's come back over here. My two other officers are now charging forward. Lu Bu is gonna be able to deal a lot of damage. The goal is to herd their archers away. If we can do that, we can advance with our main army. In hindsight, I should have had my archers burn down every single tower, but maybe the last two. If I did that, I could have hit every single point. Meaning that they would have no chance to run out and deny me my kills. Right now, Lubu is beating them up. Xu Rong is moving in too. That battle is nearly over. Let's see out. Here comes my very, very large army. Xu Rong is still fighting people who are leaving the fort. It's incredible. Even though you get fewer units, their sizes are so much larger. Meaning that in one retinue, you can have several thousand men. All of our volleys are hitting them right now. And I do hope this current format I have will be a little bit easier for everyone to kind of watch and understand. I keep trying to get closer whenever I know the fight is about to end because I love watching those finishing blows. Right now, my supers of archers are dealing so much damage. They are wiping out these guys. And already, my infantry is moving in too. My swordsmen can engage them. Shu Rong is still attacking. Lu Bu is out there on the rear, still taking out many, many archers. As long as we can avoid those archers getting concentrated volleys on my army, we'll be okay. Man, she made quite the comeback, though. She dealt a lot of damage. Let's watch that just kind of finish up real quick. I'm waiting for him to win. He's taking way too long, though. Come on, man. You can do it. There we go. He did it. She's dead. He made me miss it, but... <laughs> We know he won. We won't be able to watch every single duel. Let's zoom out again. So we can see now on the left flank, their archers that broke are now coming back. They're going to be able to hit me on my flanks. My horsemen are currently moving over here to these two towers. I burned down one. I probably should have burned down the other one. And right now, Jing Liao is getting back on horseback. Xu Rong is still fighting. They have another officer over here. Xu Rong is currently fighting him. And Lu Bu is still way back here killing everyone. He's having a great time. He's like, you know what? It's old hat for me. I get to do what I want. I'm Lu Bu. Basic soldiers can't beat him. There is another reason why I have my army moved up. They have so many soldiers, we could lose scores due to some volleys, but it's really okay. It's really not a big deal. Right now, my swordsmen are advancing through the middle, engaging more of their halberds. I'm hitting them at every point. On the right flank, we have some fighting some archers. On the left flank, I've got a big group holding them back. And what about those archers that were outside? 
they're still out here. So here's why I should burn down every single tower. If they run out and use their archers, then those towers will tear me alive. Tear me alive. Tear me up. <laughs> alive. There we go. <laughs> here comes my horsemen now. Their goal is to go after more of our enemies. And Lubu came out here, but again, those towers did a lot of damage to him. If you look at his little health circle, it's very low now. Okay, we're going to zoom back out and look at the battle real quick. Jing Liao is currently chasing down the enemy officer. He's about to kill him. That's very likely. The guy is running away. We didn't have to chase him down, but I wanted to. I'm a little bit vindictive. The enemy run. Craven. And over here, I'm now moving in spearmen. The spearmen are only here to help me supplement. Here comes a charge right now. While that is going on, you've got my horsemen who are not too far away. They're also hitting archers who are out here. The goal is to neutralize the two towers over here, then to go after the remainder of their archers. Lubu is still just riding around. My archers still have arrows left, surprisingly. We've taken out most of the garrison. And because you haven't seen it, let's go check out my army in a more cinematic view. You can see if there's fires back here. They've all just been kind of chilling out back here. I'm now moving in even more. I love that over the course of these fights, we slowly begin to push through and take parts of their camp or their town or whatever. It's really cool. Now they're all fleeing. Shu Rong was able to kill the enemy leader. Or someone did. Jing Liao. That's right, Jing Liao. So the battle's over now. We won. You saw every tactical movement I was able to make. You saw what my plans were. And it all really worked out. Let's move on to another part of our journey. Lu Bu has done it again. I don't want to raise it to the ground because I want to keep these lands. Whenever I'm attempting to be punitive and I want to punish my foes, then I will do that. But for now, we're going to loot and occupy. An army cannot survive on Mating has finally been destroyed. That's a shame. What's over here now? We've captured the enemy's only capital. Killed in battle. She's gone now. And we have a few new characters in my court. No one that I want to hire. I have way too many people in my court already. Impossible. Now, Gong Du, you I can come after you, falling, or I can go after your town. I believe I'll go after his town. It'll anger him. And again, he won't have a home to go back home to. I'm really hoping that he'll run out of supplies eventually, but if they're able to liberate, I'm sure they're able to get more supplies. We shall see, but I've done most of what I can do for right now. Let's go look at my army. Did anyone level up? No one leveled up. And we do need to heal up. I'll need to send another character out on assignment. That way we can enhance replenishment. It's a key to victory. An Ding is about to have another rebellion. I've got to tax everyone I can. Even you, Jin Ching. I know you're angry, but for now, we've got to upgrade you and hopefully make more money to where I can keep you calm. Wu Du is under my command. We only have 5,000 people left here. And we can end our turn. Let's do that. If I could have only one army, it wouldn't be nearly as difficult. But unfortunately, I cannot. I need many armies. Okay. Melting the Jin Ren. An ambitious ruler must have a fitting castle from which to wage their righteous campaign, but it would take several lifetimes to amass the funds required. The twelve bronze colossi erected by the first emperor are very valuable and would surely cover the cost. Now, that would cause some issues, but I do need the money. I am playing Dong Zhuo, meaning that I've got to make the choice that angers people a lot. Melt them all down. After melting nine of the Colossi to cover costs, you decided that the remaining three looked lonely and melted them down too. Every little helps after all. People are pretty angry, but I now have more coin. Rebellion imminent. Unfortunately for you, if I want to keep you from paying taxes, I can do so now. Who's about to rebel? An Ding? I know you are. Let's try to avoid it. I'll keep my money quite high. Sure, I lose a bit per turn, but they won't rebel. Okay, Gong Du, you're pretty close. I wouldn't be able to 
get much Bring further than news. you're at right now, you'll probably move away if I come after you. I've got to kill that guy, man. I really do. Attack. He's Quit moving me. again. Look at that. No. We can't quite catch him, but maybe if I can keep him from being able to liberate, that would help out. We've gained a new blade, a noble sword, plus nine to authority, and more satisfaction. It's actually pretty good. Don't mean, and my wife are friends now. Weird. There will be no rebellions now. I've got all of that money. That money that I will keep because I don't know how long it'll take for me to really replenish my. Spirit. Oh, hello. The bandit queen, she's close by. That makes me not want to come back over here, but for now, let's go. Look at that. Now it won't take me nearly as long to heal up. That was my goal. Let's get rid of all of that. I do have a bit of intimidation. I could use it for a peace treaty. Now, Bandit Queen, I don't want to fight you. This Why are we short. fighting? Okay, there's no way to really make it work. She wants me to pay her a lot to make it work. That certainly wouldn't be to my benefit. All right. Well, if you don't want to do that, I wonder, would anyone like a peace treaty? Gongdu did want a peace treaty. He's changed his mind. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know what? I don't like you very much. There's really no other faction around right now who I want to ally with. They're all very far away. Now, Chian is very far. Liu Biao could be potentially an ally, but he's very far too. The Han Empire is all around me. I could have them go after another enemy, I suppose. That is true. We could call them to war. Maybe that would be the benefit that they need right now. I'm Han Empire. Listen. Let's have you go to a new target. That target is going to be over here, Yuan Shu. Or even her. But you don't have nearly as many forces out there. So why don't you come over here to the land of Yuan Shu? If they do that, maybe we've got a chance at really disrupting them. Sun Jian is really expanding too, so I'm worried about him as well. My food is currently at a penalty. I suppose I can convert that building back, which is fine to do. It's very cheap to do so, so I really don't mind doing that. Okay, An Ding is going to have a rebellion no matter what I do then. Fine, fine, fine. I'll take my tax money. Okay, let's end our turn again. For China. You wait until I reach you, Gong Tu. If I can't reach you, I'll take out your friend nearby. There's that rebellion. A celebration is what now? Order. Oh, really? Our character will join their faction. If I do that, I could make a new heir. Well, the only issue is Dong Min has a follower that I want to keep. We can talk about it later, maybe. Another time Though you're then. very weak, too, so I don't even know if I want you to take him from me. That means Lu Bu would be my direct heir. Alright, let's move up now. Before I do so, do you have any type of enhancement to campaign movement? If you don't, I'll need someone else to command our army, even though you're at a very high level and you're very good for that. What about you, Zhong Liao? Okay, not bad. We've got a few things over here. Armor piercing. Those fire arrows are incredible. I love them so very much. We could use someone who can move us a little bit further for sure. More replenishment sounds good too. That's okay though. I'll deal with it. To war. Let's go again. To war. He's still moving away. Alright, we'll go put down that rebellion. You're still with enough supplies to not lose any soldiers. That's very shocking to me. Alright, I'm not losing nearly as much money. There's a farmer for more food production. Not a bad idea. We're over in An Ding. Who shall I send out to help out here in An Ding? We're not really mustering, are we? No, we're not. We could use more income. That income would be nice to have. Yeah. Dong Min, you've got a job to do. And while you're here, let's go over to characters and give him 
a new accessory. Well, maybe not that. I do like that extra experience, but I'll give him instead a farmer for more food production. Look at that. We're not losing nearly as much money. I'm able to manage things quite well. And again, I'm keeping my treasury high. That way we... Oh, hello. Can I get it? I can nearly get it. I'm very close to being able to get my extra replenishment. Not bad. What's over here? New buildings to unlock. Okay. Very Redeploy the cost goes down. Very here. nice, too. Mustering turns minus two. That would allow me to get a new army built up quickly. But I could use more money. I'm going to pick up foreign envoys. Would anyone like to trade with me? Zhonglu might want to trade with me. Okay, what do you want? You want a lot of money from me. I don't really know if I want that. 452 per turn. That could be worthwhile. Yeah, we'll do it. Now I'm making more money. I'll leave him alone for now. I don't want to use my diplomacy. Or, sorry, not my diplomacy, but my intimidation in my diplomacy. 30 points would be gone right away. I need to save it for later. Okay. I suppose we can actually end our turn again, though the bandit is coming towards my town of Luoyang. No. You land. Would you be able to attack me? Serve I don't peace. want you to do that. Let's come back over here. I must I've got to watch out for her. She's a very large threat. Okay, Lu Yang, if I upgrade you, your garrison will increase in size. We do need that. We do need that. I've got the money for it right now. I'll do it only because I want to hold that location. It's a great way to deter my foes from being able to enter my lands over to the west. And over here, we have our conscription office. I think for now, I'm going to get rid of it because we need a financial type of building. Okay, that's for food production. I'm producing a little bit of food. I'll keep my patrol barracks. I will not convert it. Though I could, that would give me more supplies. Very nice. My garrison is fine. I've got a pretty large garrison as it is right now. Okay. We're nearly done here. Let's go check for any rebellions. Anjong. No rebellions. If I tax you, you'll be angry, but not that angry. On Ding, you've got all of your rebels in one location. And over here in Jinqing, if I tax you again, you'll still be very unhappy. All right, fine, fine. By and large, though, once we get rid of Gong Du, we'll be okay. I could try to form some manner of peace treaty with him, because I don't believe I'll be able to catch him at all. He's way too quick for me. If he takes over some town, then we'll get him. Let's go put down that rebellion, then go after his lands directly. Wang Xiao has now signed a peace treaty with the Han Empire. Well, good. For order, I must refuse. Then again, if I let you stay there, you'll go after An Ding and probably die. Gong Zhuo could kill you alone. Oh well, let's go. It's pretty decent training for him. You can delegate, because it's way too minor of a battle for me to find it out directly. Victory was never in doubt. Okay, we can take up more replenishment or a bit of coin. We've gained more intimidation. Not bad. We'll take more replenishment. And you will then, we're going to march over here. It's really the only way that I can keep up with him. No one leveled up yet. They're still trying to heal. Yeah, we've killed that rebel. Ah, Lu Ji. Okay. I don't need to hire him, but he's over there. If I can get my intimidation to the next tier, we'll lose 8 per turn, but we'll gain more public order. A lot of public order, plus 8 public order. Corruption will go down too. Alright. I'm trying to carefully manage all of my towns right now. Chang An, what do you need today? You're losing public order. People in power, population, local characters. Uh, I see. That would be more income. I'm focusing on farming though, so I've got to really look at that. More public order. And over here, more income from industry and various other buildings too. Ah, here we go. County office. That should do it. Only 900 for that building. I see her now. There she is. All right. If I ambush her too, oh, she'll be done for. I think so anyway. Let's come right over here. We'll try to ambush her. If we get her, oh man, that'll be great. She's probably pretty strong in combat, looking at it now. 
He's a lookout. Who are you? You're the faction heir, another rogue. Would love to take their equipment too. All right. Let's go back to diplomacy before we leave what we're doing now. You bet. You're way too far. I'm not even worried about you. All right. I'm just trying to get a good view of who's nearby. It's not always to forge a deal. Sometimes I just want to see what's going on out there. Not too much, really. Not too much. Yeah, if I force a peace treaty on Gong Du, I could focus on the east. But I'm being quite stubborn. I just don't want to give up. I want to somehow get to him. Jin Ching, you probably don't have large garrison units here. You really don't. You would be able to stop them and do some damage, but you wouldn't be able to halt them completely. Ah, very well. Okay, on Ding, you have no rebellion now. I'm currently taxing you. That's good. We're getting plenty of food from you. And now we can end our turn again. Hopefully we can get the Bandit Queen. If we could kill her. And we can. She'll be in a lot of trouble. Here's one of the most difficult battles we'll ever fight. And I need to take my time to go over it because we are fighting an ambush. You don't need to try to surround your foes every single time for your ambush to work out. The mere fact that you've caught your enemy off guard is a win. I don't really have a lot of infantry, but I do have a lot of archers. So my goal right now is to place all of my archers on the hill over here, then all of my halberds in front of them. I cannot beat that bandit queen. She's way too powerful. Every officer here would die to her. My goal is to destroy her army. If we keep on looking, they have many units. My horsemen are nearby. They're waiting right over here on the left flank and over here on the right flank. They're hidden away behind the trees. I even have my artillery. My artillery might not get a lot of kills, but it will get some kills. And you can see that she has many archers and many leaders. It's a battle that I have no right winning at all. If she wants to though, she could try to retreat. Whenever you're ambushed, you could just choose to leave. She's choosing to not do that. And here's a timer. This will begin to tick down whenever I begin the battle. That's when my reinforcements will get here. It's going to take them a very long time to get here. And we have a unique unit for her as well. They're right over here. The hidden axes. They're pretty darn good. They're very beefy too. 144,000 health. Okay. We're about ready. Let's begin the battle. Our men are spotted. Again, they're going to hurt me a lot. Right now, the job for my archers is to shoot them with as many volleys as they can. And my horsemen are already charging in, killing several of their bowmen from behind. I wanted to wipe out their bowmen early on. Their other units are now charging uphill. You'll we'll probably get a nice little shot of that as my archers continue to hit their units. I try to take out their archers early on, that way they're unable to shoot me up as well. We don't really need them. We brace up, the battle begins. Their officers are also moving in. Let's get through the trees real quick. You can see right now that my horsemen did very, very well. My trebuchet is still getting kills. All of our officers over here are trying their best to hold off their officers, which I don't know how well that's going. My horsemen are now moving back. The goal is to chase off every single archer Don't group that remains. No, no it Why? really doesn't. It? The enemy warriors are running. I like how those two are having a conversation. Jishu, you're not a combatant. Either way, between my trebuchet and my archers, we took down that enemy group. They're already breaking quickly. My leaders are right over here just waiting. You can see how they're not wanting to enter the fray just yet. a lot going on. Strike your targets. My other goal, after taking out their archers, is to try to flank them on the left flank where their officers are not currently located. My officers are now moving in too. You can zoom out further and see what's going on. My horsemen are still chasing down many archers. At least one group is. Now we're charging back out. We're doing a counter charge on their remaining horsemen. All the while, my men are still holding over here in the trees. And that bandit queen is currently hunting down Jia Shu. He was talking too much crap, and she was like, hey, time to get him. 
I've moved two groups of archers over here where they can flank my enemies with a few volleys. I figured that would be much more effective to take them out. And I have a trebuchet currently striking their ranks too. There could be some friendly fire, but it does happen. What's really impressive to me is that you can have battles like this in Three Kingdoms. In, like, let's say another Total War game, you probably wouldn't be able to hold out that long. You would just break right away. So I do think the balance is very cool. Here comes my horsemen again. They're now charging in. We're trying to wipe out their horsemen so that we can charge back over here and one day kill their leader. You can see that the Bandit Queen is still tearing right through all of my units right now. She ends up getting over 200 kills throughout the entire battle. None of my officers can really compete with her. So while that's all going on, my reinforcements finally made it over here. It took them a very long time, but they're finally appearing. They're popping Shut right in. And die. Our reinforcements have arrived. They have finally arrived. Now I'm getting some new help. Let's go back and check out what's happening in a more strategic overview. It's still a bit difficult to make out because we're all kind of mixed up right now. My trebuchet is still attacking. I've got horsemen traveling out here going after that officer, Lu Jing. Okay, let's go back into the fight. She's taking down so many of my units right now. My officers are waiting back here because many of them are nearly dead. They're still trying to hold off right now. We'll see. He's working hard. It's funny that she's talking crap too because she's currently leaving the battlefield. She doesn't want to stay here. Yeah, it would be impossible to really discern what's going on without all of our unit icons. So I hope this is much more clear. It's still very difficult to always zoom in because there's so much going on simultaneously. Trust me, it's much better that I'm covering my replays and playing live. You have to really move quickly. Some of these battles are so... Oh my god, she's killing everyone. Look at her go having a great time just cutting down all of my poor soldiers. They don't even know what to do with her. My reinforcements are now moving in. With their help, we can win. We held off that entire time. We held that hill the entire time so that we could win this battle. I cannot believe that I was able to do that. Jia Shu is a masterful thinker. He did a great job at antagonizing her, at taking her out. Now that she's weaker, I wonder how long it's going to take her to rebuild her army. Look at how many dead men we have here. But here comes my own army. Now moving in. Over 1,000 men. The battle is won. She has been broken. We've done it, everyone. That battle is now over. And we get to go home for just a brief moment. We won that battle, but it wasn't easy. That bandit queen killed over 200 of my men, and my leaders could not stop her at all. We captured one of her officers. I'm not going to let you go, but I will kill you, as I do like your robe a lot. Later. An unfortunate consequence and we're going to take up 10% replenishment, we have need because we need it. Good fighters. I can't wait to have the capital of Luyang. Oh, look at that, another battle. Let's check out the map real quick. It's a field battle. If it was a town battle, I would fight it out. But here, we won't be able to kill anyone. He's gone over 4,000 men. Nearly 5,000 men. Wow. Okay. We'll delegate. Dong Du is a real nuisance, man. I'd lost a bit of intimidation, but I will be back. You can have it for right now. But I'm coming down to burn down what you own. Or maybe just keep it. I haven't decided yet. Yuan Xiao has formed a coalition with a minor warlord. Shameful defeat. But we did gain more experience anyway. Not bad. Liu Dai has requested Wang Kuang to join their war. They're fighting Wang Xiao over to the east. Light from a well. While traveling along a secluded lane, your general notices a beam of colored light rising from a well. They order their troops to light torches and descend the well to investigate, believing it to be a beckoning sign from heaven. Now we get three morale for five turns. Sure, it's a tiny boost, but it's free. I'll take it. I've gained many ancillaries too, my god. More armor, new weapons. Well, one new weapon. And a clay axe. I suppose I could throw it to someone's eye, I don't know. 
Commandery contested. Oh, trust me, I know. I'll work on it. Now, Bandit Queen, I bet you want a peace treaty. Promote I wonder, can we come over here and get rid of that army? We can. Huh. That's really good. You had flower petals coming we out of you as you killed a man. Them. I don't know if that's metal or just really strange. You gained a lot of money from that, too. Alright. I could get more money or more replenishment. All I'll take my replenishment. With wisdom. After doing that, I wonder... Will she want a peace treaty? Because I don't want to fight her. I really don't. I beat her, but I don't want to fight her anymore. Let's go over to negotiate. Jing Jiang. What is it? Would you like a peace treaty? She still doesn't want a peace treaty. Wow. In order to have one, she wants me to pay her. I won't be doing that. Thank you for the money, though. Keeping our trade port over here was a really good call. I only need a bit more replenishment. I suppose what we could do instead, we can go back to Chang'an, replenish, then come back. I'll probably give him more infantry. We'll keep our horsemen, but I'll utilize more infantry. I'll continue to ambush anyone who comes nearby. It's a great way to destroy our foes. I love it a lot. Yifu and Jiashu, you two are now friends. They're all becoming friends now. Ha! Wen Mu has died. How unfortunate. Alright, let's have a look over here. Lu Bu is still on his way. Oh, I can finally... Wait, can I reach him? Let's find out. Oh, finally! Okay. It won't be an easy battle. I wonder if I fight a night battle. No, Gongdu will not be involved. I would be fighting a huge army. But if I win this battle, I'll finally be able to say, Hey, go away. Then I can chase him down later on. It's a really tough call. Demand surrender. I didn't think they would. Okay, we're going to starve them out for just a brief moment. As for right now, I would like to go look at my lands. Okay, Chang'an, you are not happy at all. Local characters. Do we have more enemies over here? I thought I killed them all. It could be one of my characters. I don't really know. Okay, if I convert you, that would be two more public order. We're not going to have a rebellion for a long time in our capital. That'll be okay. All right, that would be 5% more income. That can wait. On Ding is still trying to work on their own personal happiness. I want that farmland, but that will have to wait. And over here in Wudu. Wudu is not doing a great job on their own. Sure, they could use a bigger garrison, but I don't want to invest in lands that might be lost to me very soon. Let's look at what might be cheap to build for now. I've got plenty of food. I still don't need to upgrade the capital. It's a large town. My population is very low. There's been so much warring going on here. I could use more population growth. Okay, let's take up a tool forage and turn it into a tool workshop again. Maybe it'll be safe. I don't know. Maybe. Jin Ching? If I go back to taxing you, you'll want to lose more public order. And I don't want that. Okay, we're about to reclaim the horse pastures. We do, I'm not going to touch. And before we move on, let's go look at our characters again. We've got to manage all of them carefully. That would give you more cunning. Eventually, you'll become my faction heir. Yeah, sure, take him. More cunning, why not? Let's keep on looking around. I really just need to dole out my accessories, and that's really it. Zhang Liao, you have plus A tier instinct. That's really good, too. What about you, Dong Zhuo? That would be more authority. More authority would give us more satisfaction. Yeah, sure. Take a clay warrior. We're still at plus eight, but that could go up one day. I hope he levels up soon. I would love for him to get to a higher rank. Oh, we need a lot more experience. I see. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, who else do I have around here? I have you, Liru. You could be happier. Here's a clay axe. Enjoy. All right, that puts you at 38. And you're at level 3. 
Let's see. What am I going to give you? Plus 10 to military supplies, plus 8 to cunning. I think I'll give you for now. Just don't. Take that. All right. Let me quickly check if anyone else here leveled up. Ah, oh, my wife did. Twice, actually. Okay. You can take dignity. And what more do you need? Well, if I go down that route, what will I pick up? Okay, more combat-based stuff. I'll give her flexibility. Or I could move over to the eastern side of my little trees over here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that instead. We'll change it up a bit. My wife is pretty darn good. I'm very proud of her. All right. Now, last thing that I want to do before we go. I want to go look at my weapons for my other army that isn't really nearly as powerful. Niafu, you haven't leveled up yet, really. My god, man. How low of a level were you? Maybe I need another officer over here. I mean, Li Ru is all right. Me, Ju, I won't be using you for now. My wife would even be better than he is. Anyway, a new weapon for a few of you. Go see. You need a new weapon. You've got a lot of resolve, but I want you to be able to hit even harder. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, that spear is not going to do it. A great axe. Ooh. Armor piercing very low. That would have a lot more armor piercing. Your expertise would go down, but your resolve would go up. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. More general's health. Okay. You've got that going on. Dull iron carapace. What is that all about? Uh, benefits and penalties, I suppose. That would give you more resolve. Your expertise would go down. You pretty much have no melee evasion anyway. Could make you even tankier. Your charge bonus would go up. I suppose we could do that. We'll change up his gear a bit. I don't have a new mount for you. Okay. Let's go over here to Niafu. Niafu, you need a new weapon as well. I'm going to give you that glaive. Yeah, take a, take a good little glaive over there. Your expertise is all right. It could all be better. All right. And over for Jiashu. I've got a better weapon for you. Not that you really need it. I will give you a slightly better one just for fun, though. There you go. That'll give you a lot more expertise. More melee evasion. He needs that. You want him to survive, right? <laughs> Okay, that would be more cunning. Take a Jishu. There we are. More ammo for all of my ranged units. I love all of the synergy. Items actually feel useful now. You really have to think about where you want them to go. And I love that. Okay, you've got your glaive. I can't give you a sword. I can give you a sword. Your current one is alright. This one does more base damage. Armor piercing is quite good whenever we're dealing with an enemy leader, though. That is true. Okay, so you got 1.3k melee damage base. Armor piercing is pretty low, but I'm going to stick with it for now. I don't have a lot of followers, unfortunately. And, of course, you know, our boy over here is doing just fine. He's okay. He'll make it. Okay, we've got a long way to go until rank 8. Which I'm okay with. He's already very powerful. Now we're ready to go fight our battle. Let's go in. And hopefully win. We're now fighting the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Zheng Kai was the guy who killed Cao Cao's father. He served under Tao Qian. Xu Wei was one of the leaders who led remnants of the Yellow Turbans to attack Qing province. They were beaten and killed by Shouhou Yuan, Zheng Ba, and others. Dong Du was a bandit leader around Changsha. And right now, we're getting ready to fight more of them. Let's go back into a standard view. You can see that right now I'm getting Lu Bu to come out to kill one of their leaders or to potentially kill a few of their archers. But right now, we might be fighting Gong Du at the very beginning. Gong Du is quite powerful. After we fight him, we'll begin to look at our army format. Right now, they're still moving into position. Lu Bu really doesn't care, does he? He's like, you know what? I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to enjoy myself and take on who I want. He's challenging Gong Du in front of his entire army, which evidently works in the way that Lu Bu wants it to work. They're having a duel. While these two get to fight, we get to finally move on. We'll go check on them later on. Beyond the very large Yellow Turban army coming to fight me, 
my units are way over here. Zhurong, Jingliao. We're moving up right now, right by that hill. My goal is to try to limit where they can attack me. And right now, it looks like Lu Bu is about to maybe win. The battle is really close. Let's go check it out. It's about to be over. We can defeat Gong Du before the battle even truly begins. It's over for him. Strangely enough, he's only wounded. We can have a look at the very large Yellow Turban army. They have many archers. Their numbers are extreme. It's currently the year 194. And my god, we have a lot to fight. All of my units are right over here. My archers are going to help me out. Clearly, I can't win any ranged fight with these enemies of mine. They have a few unique units, too. Like over here. We've got some yellow turban archers. Their captain unit. Those are very strong. Guardians of the land. They're from Gongdu. And now Lu Bu yes, is yes, going after God. Gongshu Yuan. She's a healer. And she's in a lot of trouble right now. Lu Bu is on his way. But I just wanted to show you how vast their army is. I mean, there's just so much to it. Thousands of men in one fight that I've got to take on. They're all getting into formation. I love the much larger unit sizes. And my army's right over here. We're still moving, though. Who set these buildings on fire? I don't believe that was me, was it? Anyway, here's my army. The army of Lu Bu. I'm not here to kill Dong Zhuo. I actually want the Dong to win and prosper and to conquer all of China. If one day he dies of old age, so be it. But again, here's my army moving around. Lu Bu is still out there harassing people. My leadership is right over here. Moving with their own soldiers. Getting ready for another large fight. My horsemen have moved out. It's like a bit of a dancing game in the very beginning because we're trying to situate ourselves if I had some manner of trebuchet, my god, I would kill so many. I love that, despite having all these men, they fear Lu Bu. And they well should. If you had a rank 7 officer like Lu Bu, you know that he's going to kill a lot. He's meant to be a legend. We're playing romance. Because we're playing romance, characters are very, very powerful. She came over to fight. And right now, he's going to harass a group of archers. The goal is to try to break down some archers. We're going to zoom out in just a minute. I have over 3,600 men right now. They have a lot. But it's my time to rest over here. Jing Liao is now moving out too. It's time for him to challenge another enemy leader to a duel. You can see in the very beginning, I take my time using my champion to challenge our foes. And that they do. They do a great job at handling them. Here comes a battle right now. We have very powerful combatants. The battle begins. Jing Liao is here to win. Look at who he's fighting right now. Ah! Shu Wei. Yeah, you were killed later by Shohou Yuan. But now we'll be the one to kill you. We'll let him go fight for a while. Their army's heading towards mine. It's easy to see that I'm just here to wait for now until we fight them. A little bit closer to my formation. My archers are already unleashing volleys upon them. Hopefully they will get dozens of kills before they even reach my line or even hundreds. Hundreds would be good too. Lubu is still out there traveling, killing. He's unbreakable. You don't break him. You have to put him down. You need to, I don't know, get a catapult. Then hit him with the entire catapult. Here they come. Jenkai is charging in too. Let's go over here. Shu Rong has a duel. Will he be taking on Jenkai? Or maybe they won't be doing that. Either way, here comes my units now. All charging in. It's only my left flank too. What I love about Three Kingdoms is the sheer size of all of your units. Meaning that you can actually have a proper formation. You can hold your foes for a period of time while you're trying to flank with the other units. Look over here. I still have all of my right flank untouched. They're getting into position. Let's go back out here and take a look at what's going on. Xu Rong is not dueling. Jenkai is still in the middle of all of them. You can see right now how deadly it is. I would zoom in, but 
movement of the camera is rather messy. Here comes more of our enemies now. Way over here, Jing Liao is about to win his battle. There's a healer nearby. I don't believe she's able to help out at all. Lu Bu is still traveling around though. See that he's about to die. And Lu Bu, as I said before, is going after various enemies everywhere. That's what he does. He's just traveling around the map. We can zoom out and see where all of my enemies are at right now. My left flank is currently engaged. We can see that Jing Liao is about to win his fight. My units are fighting a little bit in the middle too. We're fighting who? Yellow Sky Heralds. And now, Jing Liao is taking a lot of damage. I was hoping we would be able to win right away, but let's wait for him to take on this enemy of ours. It should take only one more hit to take him on. Then we can go focus on the battle again. I'll try to show as much as I can of the duels, but I do know that we need to focus on the battle as well. But he did it. I can't wait for there to be blood. Jing Liao won. Die if you cannot surrender. Right. Here comes more of my infantry. Now pressing in. Some of our enemies are already breaking. We can see now that they're holding us at various locations. But we're pushing in. We're breaking many of them. There is so much going on in any battle that we play. Shu Rong is now charging in. You can see my banners moving forward. There's a nice clear contrast here because it's on a darker map. There's no fog. And we're on the plains right now. Let's go zoom out. Shu Rong is now engaged in single combat. He's heavily wounded, so I wonder how that will play out for him. My horsemen are currently out here, charging after archer units. They've been traveling around, charging at them. We can go into a more cinematic, or not a cinematic, but a strategic view. See how confusing all of this even looks. You can see that right now, we have so much going on. We are engaging them at various points. My right flank is mostly clear. We're just trying to beat them away. We have many archers, and I'm using Lu Bu to herd them. Jing Liao is doing that as well. That strategic map mode, I don't believe that really helped me as much. But I hope it gave many of you some perspective. But now, we're over here watching Zhu Rong fight his battle. And we can pass on over to the left flank, where Zheng Kai is still fighting many of my own units, doing extensive damage to them. While that is going on, we still have units back here. I've got some of my Saber Militia who have charged out. They're all alone. They're surrounded by multiple units, but we're keeping multiple foes engaged by doing that. More of my horsemen are still fighting. My heavy Shi Liang Cav are currently charging after more archers. While that is going on, Jing Liao and Lu Bu are still traveling around. As I told you, we have free roam of the land. That is where my advantage comes from. More spearmen are fighting on my right flank right now. They're holding off two groups. I've got various groups over here. Still fighting various yellow turbans right now. And we can see that Shu Rong is about to win his duel. It's a great fight when you're able to take one of your foe. Now that is a really scenic view. They're just fighting out here. Everyone's dying behind them. They're having a duel. A very impressive duel. Can you finish her? You can tell they're very tired. She's been thrown. I wonder what type of strike he'll use in order to end her. I'll show you a duel when I know there's not too much going on, and he just cracked her neck. The battle's over, he won. We can go back and find out what's happening over here on the left flank. By this point, they have lost pretty much everything. They've already broken. You can see that over here, they have just completely been torn apart. My archers are out of arrows, and they were sent in too. My infantry is doing just fine. Most of them are breaking. It looks like we have now won the battle. Jing Kai is now leaving. I don't know if we'll be able to catch him or not, but hopefully we can. We had over 3,000. Now we have 2,485. And I do hope my new type of overview of the, of the battle is a little bit more understandable. I try to go over each part as much as I can. But again, if there's like any way that I can improve upon that for you, just let me know. But as it is right now, we have so many soldiers. So there's just so much going on at any given time in a fight. It can be rather chaotic and crazy, but it is the Age of Chaos. Either way, our battle is now over. You can see where there's just been so many lives spent on one location. Check out the bodies. I haven't seen bodies like this in a very long time in a Total War game. Just spread out all over where you can have battles happening all over without having to break right away. It's a lot of fun. Let's move on. We won a really big battle. 
going to occupy it because I don't need to kill what few people are left here. There's not a lot. In fact, there's no one left. We killed them all. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. My enemies lost over 4,400 soldiers. How many did we kill? One? Two? Only two of them. Gong Du is wounded. Let's occupy that location. We, will take it. we can replenish while we're here, then we can go after them again. Now they're going to be a lot weaker. We got them. Zhu Wei is now dead. Zhang Liao and Xu Rong now get along. They're Earth Sworn. Let's keep on looking. Yeah, that's really it. I call conference. All right. I do own the capital. Now I need one of you to provide a bit more replenishment for me. Ah, uh, I don't believe we can. It's unfortunate we don't have Dong Zhuo here. He's over in Chang'an. Well, if I bring you out here, would you be able to help me replenish for a turn or two? I suppose you could. I'll be moving down to Wudu. But I'll be here for now. How can I serve? Ah, well. Okay, let's go look at what we're making money from. We've got a fish trader. We've got a dock market. Tribal horse breeders, too. It lowers the upkeep of all of my horsemen. That's really good. And over here, silk. Well, I've got a character who can improve my income for silk. Oh, but you can also provide more satisfaction. Yeah, I think we need that more than money right now. Okay, Chang'an, I'm currently taxing you. Jin Ching, I'm not taxing you. I know you're very unhappy. Which means you need a bit of public order or satisfaction. There we go. He'll be there in one turn. We can wait now. Okay, who else am I not taxing? I'm taxing all of you. Yeah, we're not losing as much public order from other locations. I'm keeping my treasury again very high. All right, do I have a high chance of losing you over here? No, I don't want another army, not yet. I don't really have the money for that. We do, I do have a high chance of losing you. Having that bigger garrison could be beneficial. I don't know if you can stop an enemy, but maybe. Jin Ching, I think I want to upgrade you first. Tribal horse camps are fantastic. It'll lower the upkeep of my units I further. Now we can end our turn again. I think I'll send a lord up here later though to begin to colonize, but It'll cost me about what? Yeah, 4,000 per. But eventually I'll have all these lands up here too. To annex Wu Wei, or Wu Wei, that wouldn't be too hard. All right, who am I going to send out then? Not Li Ru. Mi Ju. Be still. Mi Ju, it's Consume time for you to go. Spirit. Yeah, come over here. 5,000. Oh man, it's a lot more than I thought. I thought it was like 4,000. But anyway, we'll let him go. He's got a few supplies. That is a really long trip. I mean, I suppose it's really out of the way. That could be why. But still, that's a very long trip. All right. Now, we can end our turn again. Well, before we do that, going to, do you want a peace treaty? I'm wondering. Ah, he does. Interesting. Not that I want one, but I just wanted to know if he wanted one. That lets me know how weak he is now. He's like, oh boy. Yeah, I'm not feeling great. I'll probably pick up a few new units in my secondary army. We have more enemies on the way now, heading towards my capital, potentially. Who's over there? I have no idea. Zhang Yan is now fighting Liu Yu. Wang Xiao now wants Wei Yi to join his war. Oh, you want Xu's back on his way. Okay, I see, I see. His army is not nearly as powerful, but he can reach any one of these locations. To the grand design. If you take my mine, that'll be annoying. My garrison's pretty decent. I don't think we could win, though. No. no. He's got another army on the way, too. Ah. Shaho Yuan works for you. That's really interesting. Impossible. I doubt I could work out a peace treaty with him. He's really intent on killing me. He's really one of their only active participants in that fight. Okay, Liu Yu, you're way up there. Why if we must do we that, speak? I wonder, what money would you give me? Yeah, I would like to get some money from you. 
wonder how much I could make from him. It's only a good idea though to make some money from this guy here. Let me actually type it out. We'll try 2,000. Ooh, maybe not 2,000. Okay, we'll try 1,000 and work from there. We'll go back real quick. Yeah, that'll work. We can keep on going now. Only a little bit less. But I could still have a little bit more. Let's try 1600. What a fantastic way to make some extra coin. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take so it. I don't want to get like every little penny I could, but forget about it. Okay, if I don't fight Gong Du, I could then focus on other enemies, but I'm so intent on killing him. I just can't lose my capital. That would be, yeah, that. <laughs> Good look over here. How's my garrison at Chang'an? Would you be able to reach Tongan in one turn? Oh dear god, he could. You're kidding me. Alright, I've got to march right into the capital then. I doubt he'll try to take it, but just in case here. My garrison is alright. It's not that large, though. We'll have 2,800 men to utilize. My jade mine, unfortunately. Yeah, I may lose that. That would be a lot of money gone. If he burns it down, I'll be very angry. Okay. A military expert. Oh, wow. A turtle formation charge resistance up by 500%. Range block chance 100%. Melee attack rate goes down. Cannot run. That's really cool. Well, I do have some people it who need to fight defensively. To you don't really have any shields though, man. I wish you did, but you don't. You marched in, so I can't have you recruit. That's unfortunate. Anyway. Bring me news. I won't be able to reach your army, will I? Leave none alive. Let's find out if we can actually fight him for once. Nope, the we conquest. cannot. But it's on our way to his town. We're going to go beat his town. They've got a tiny garrison, so we'll fight him anyway. Okay, Zhong Liao is now rank 5. I feel like I need Zhong Liao to go fight another army. I'll give him that instead. Xu Rong, you've been fantastic, but I feel like I need to also send you off to an another army. I need to get some new weapons. That's what I need. Anyway, back over here to your abilities. Ignore forest penalties. That's really good. What's over here? Resolve of the Righteous. A passive buff. Okay, if there's a stronger enemy, he gets more melee evasion. And a higher melee attack rate in addition to being unbreakable. What do you have down here then? Okay. More character experience. More cunning. And over here, more expertise. I don't plan on losing a battle, not for Lu Bu's army. Perception would be decent. Depends on what I want for later. More melee evasion for melee infantry. I like that a lot. Okay. Resolve of the Righteous. We'll take that. Done. Okay. Let's go over here real quick and see what we can do. Feng Li, I do not want to hire you. There's really no one that notable. Lu Ji is rank 4. That's pretty darn good. But I have so many in my court already. I just don't want to do too much with them. Let's go check on my satisfaction real quick. Everyone is fairly satisfied. One day I'll marry off my heir. Guo Si is doing a great job. Are you satisfied, man? Oh, very. Very much so. Miju, I'll use you one day. You're only rank one right now. I was kind of hoping you'd be a higher rank. That's okay. Alright. I've got some extra money. Who will I send out to die in that battle? Lu Ji, I could hire you, then send you out. Feng Li would be a lot of money, way too much money. Li Ju, that's 2200. I don't want to kill my wife. I mean, I could kill my wife, <laughs> but that feels a bit wrong, right? Okay, let's build one building now. I know there's so much management to do. Let's build that building over in my capital. A magistrate, more prestige, more income. My prestige is still going up. And we'll go check on diplomacy one more time, but I really doubt I could do anything to coerce someone into a peace treaty. Let's try over here again. What shall we talk about? Oh, wrong one, wrong one. You're not the guy I'm looking for. You want shoot. There we go. This will be short. He's way too strong. He wants what from me? Oh, you want my trade port? Then we could have a peace treaty. No way, man. I cannot do that. I mean, I know that's what you want. Wish I could coerce you. I did propose a term. Peace, but maybe I can't threaten him into peace. That's really funny. Alright, Lubia, I doubt you'll fight what I want you to fight. The Han will hopefully go fight them. Don't know if they will or will not. Let's have a look around here. She's not doing too well. It takes time to rebuild, so I can understand why she's not doing too well. 
She still wants a lot of money from me for a peace treaty, but we could certainly take that right now. Oh yeah, that would have worked. But we can do that. I'll pay her for that peace treaty. Now I don't have to worry about her. That cleared up a lot for me. That really did. Now I don't have to worry about fighting her. She can do her own thing for a little while. I don't know if she's fighting other factions right now. She's fighting Jung Young. Oh, really? The other bandit? Why are you two fighting? It's... Okay. I mean, I'm not going to be mad about that. It's just weird. Gong Du wants a peace treaty. And that's really all that I have right now. I, I could create a vassal, right? No, I can't. <laughs> they told me no. All right, let's go have a look around here. Han Fu, you're way too far away. I'm glad I didn't send off my heir to you. Most of you are way too weak. Those of you who do like me, Liu Biao is okay. Let us discuss I'd very much like to coerce him. It still wouldn't work out. I would need to maybe give him some food. Issue ultimatum. Oh, man. Oh, there's a chance. Okay. That's really cool, though, that you can do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. I can offer you some food, by the way. Maybe not that much food. Let's try to lower that a little bit. Yeah, we well, can do that. Let's form a coalition. Such aggression is regretful, yet we yield. Okay, I finally used it. Now we have a friend. He's got two vassals, which is kind of handy, right? We have a coalition. He might not even stay in it. I highly doubt Maybe he will, but as it is right now, let's try to get him a target. I wonder, could I get you to... Okay, a military alliance. They don't want to vote for that. That's really hurtful, by the way. You hurt my feelings. I'll have to kill you one day. Let us discuss matters. Right, let's keep on looking real quick. Ancillaries, war. Okay, will you fight Yuan Shu? Yeah, him. You want more money, but you will fight him. Okay. Now, a shared enemy is a he's got to worry about his flank. That's going to help me out. It's a bit late for that, but I did use a lot of money to make it work. I still have some food left, thankfully. Some money left. We don't have to worry about as many foes. Our diplomacy has increased. All right, I'm not going to tax you. You're not doing too well over here in Wudu. I'm trying to help you out. All right, we can finally end our turn. Neofu is not energetic. Okay, more campaign movement range. That's very nice to have. We need that. <laughs> yeah, it'll take him a long time to get over there. I'm letting him get his supplies, and then I'll send him on a marching spree. Go out there. Back to my turn. It's currently winter. Yuan Xiao has requested Liu Dai to fight another enemy. Oh, no. That's very rude. The Han Fu are now gone. This guy. He knows how to get out of the way, doesn't he? He's losing now. Oh, he's finally losing soldiers. Oh, heck yeah. I'm only going to follow him just to make sure he's still on the run. Dear God, man. Look at that run. How can I catch that guy? I really can't. Okay, we'll come down over here now. Forget about it. I'm going to move down to my Silk Trader, though. I want to make sure that we're okay with it. I won't get any replenishment, but it's okay. I'll deal with it. Alright. I know it's bad timing, but... Let's, get, let's try to get you up here real quick. It's going to take you a very long time. I'm going to try to summon up the money so I can actually take that town. Oh, he's going back over to Luoyang. Oh, he tricked me. He really got me on that one. It took a nice turn. Okay, could I actually reach it, though? I can. We'll march back in. I didn't really want to do that, but... Oh, man. No replenishment at all for him. Heck, yeah. Well, that helps out a lot. I'm going to help really grow that army later, I think. I really don't want to uh, lose as much as I have been losing lately. All right, if I tax you, Jen Ching. I'm sure you're not as happy, but I need the money, Chang on. We're still taxing you, as we always will be. Let me just check on everyone real quick. Okay, everyone's fine, but we do, we do. We're not taxing... We're not losing too much, I guess. So we'll just keep where it's at right now. And we can end our turn again. Ah, Hanfu. You're not dead. Hey, how about that, pal? Not a legendary character, or I would take you in, potentially. Yeah, my characters are fine. I don't need any aid from any of you. I'm not going to call for aid. Are you mad? For, like, more detailed diplomatic things, like, 
marriages that I can't do via a quick deal. I'll probably do that on my own. That way, not all of you have to just sit here and watch me go through each faction trying to find someone who's willing to break your or broker a deal with me. Okay, Du and Zan are now fighting. What? Ooh, those two were now fighting Yuan Shu. So now Yuan Shu is going to lose a lot more. It's another faction that has emerged over in Runan. Yeah, Yuan Shu is now surrounded by enemies. Heck yeah, get destroyed, Yuan Shu. Is he moving back now? Oh, he doesn't like the idea of fighting me. I'm kind of stuck here. I'll defend where we're at right now, though. We have many new buildings. Our income has gone up. There are many new characters in my court. Oh, Guan Wen. Okay. He's very old, though. I'll think about hiring him in a little while. We'll really see. Okay. Let's go over to reforms real quick and see what I would like to pick up now. It's going to have to be something that helps me make more money. I mean, that's really my only choice right now is to make more money or to make things more stable. Income from peasantry. That's a lot. Another administrator position. That could be handy too. What can I do to get more? Okay, okay so I can come over here. I need that one for sure. But I need a building for it. Yeah, I need a nice building to get that master of ceremonies. What about my replenishment, though? That's really what I want to go for now. Let's come over here. I'm going to push for it. It'll take time, but I'm going to push for it. Okay, he's unable to do much. I can't believe he's back already, though. That's really awful. Let's just begin to move on. If he takes over another location, I'm just going to move on myself, but... He's moved away. I'm going to go take your town, man. If I choose to march, okay, we won't be able to move much further. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but it happened. Okay, as for my other army, cool. It won't take you too long to get up here. Then we can take that town and begin to slowly expand outwards. Chang An, there's only so much that you can build up right now. I'm not converting anything. I'm still decent on the food front. Got a military building. I would love to upgrade my capital, but we can't do that either. There's so much that I want to do that I just cannot do. All right, no one's rebelling yet. That's good. Even though people are so very unhappy right now. It's because I have so many contested locations. But you can see how difficult your beginning here is. It's just, it is certainly a challenge. All right, I've got some extra money, though. We need, need to find a thing to build, though. 3,000, that's way too much. I'm going to keep my money where it's at. I can only convert buildings over here for now. I can't really upgrade any, anything other than my capital. Jin Ching really depends on who makes me a lot of money. Right now, Jin Qing would be number two. I mean, I own like all of that. Okay, if I upgrade that, your population is really awful. Yeah. Gotta find a way to get our population up then. I don't know how we're gonna work that out, but if I don't tax you, next season. Is it largely a public order issue causing that? I suppose it is. All right, I'm going to try to work on their public order. We need to boost it back up. If it's in the negative, I'm going to try to work on it. I can't lose food right now, so I do apologize that I have to tax you. But let's begin to work on getting our public order back up. I need these people to be relatively happy. They're not happy enough right now, and it's really upsetting for me and these people. Okay, that should do it. It's in their turn again. I know, I know. We're having to fight back at home so much, and Gongzu is such a menace. He wants a peace treaty, which I absolutely love. That's fantastic. Oh, we can't actually get any other deal right now. Lame. I was hoping to negotiate, but he's like, oh, I don't want to do it. Go take something if you want to, you idiot. They'll probably take that silk trader rule. I'm going to do large town now. Screw you, man. I'm going to your large town. I'm still getting money anyway. Kong Rong has joined a coalition. Wait, he's, he's fighting the Yellow Tavern Rebellion. Now. That's a little bit weird. I don't know if I fully agree with that idea. Here we go. Is it easy? Oh, it's very, very easy to take on. It's a very tiny garrison, too. Let's just burn them down. We lost only 192. That's really good. Gain some money. More intimidation for me. Let's now... I'm not going to raise it. I'm going to loot and occupy. We'll kill people. And then we can repair the entire thing. Okay, Gongdu. I only need your copper mine now. 
Then I can come back up and crush whatever you have going on. Yuan Shu is now moving back to my capital. He's been on my lands for quite some time. I wonder if that's a really good idea. <laughs> what do you guys think? We have great roads here. He's had no replenishment. I wonder if his supplies are decent. That guy has a decent army. Lady Fink. His wife is over there. Oh, man. What an idea. All right. Let's see here. Who else do we have that we want to worry about? Chang'an is quite unhappy. Many locations now are doing a little bit better, though, so I'm very happy about that. We can upgrade my tool depot. I've got the money for it. That would be 100 more income. Okay. You're still traveling. You're doing very well on supplies. Terrain alone is not sufficient. Because of all of our tools, we're actually doing all right. I have an evil amount of income. We've taken the enemy capital. Gongdu is feeling really bad now. Shu Rong is now rank four. We have a labor recruiter for more population growth. I've been wanting that for quite some time. Let's go look at who doesn't have any population at all. Let's see here. You've got zero, Chen Qing. Okay. Oh, while I'm out here in Wudu, why don't I... I should send one of you back home. Let's see here. Replenishment. Dong Zhuo is so powerful for his role. It's why I, I just like keep him out there. He's so good at what he does. Alright, so Lubu will be fine. I guess what we'll do... We'll put Lubu over in Jinqing. I mean, the other idea is that I put him over in Wudu. That's the other idea to help me replenish. Which I suppose is a really solid idea. We'll be here for a few turns. Okay, that'll work. I was going to send it out to that place with no population, but we're still going to lose more if they take over another area, so that's fine. Okay, we're going to end our turn again. I'm saving up to help out over there. My popularity is going up in various locations. And now they're trying to come over here to Chang'an, my capital. They're moving back and forth. They've come after something that's very valuable to me. Well, we've got to fight the battle. We've got to. So let's go do that now. I hope that we can kill some. Well, well, let's see. If we have towers, then maybe we have a shot. Okay, well, we don't really have a shot, but we can still fight. They have too many officers. We can't beat that, but we can bloody up their army. Here's a battle that we should not win, but looking at this location, we've got a great chance to really damage our foes. There's only a few ways to get in. We have many towers all over. Right now, my horsemen are charging out. They're going to flank our enemies later. They're all moving forward. If I can hide them, even better. They'll be back, though. And all the while, I have my other soldiers plugging up every gap that we can. We also have our towers, and they're going to be ready to take down enemy leaders. Lady Fing is over here, the wife of Yuan Shu. You've got Xiao Ho Yuan, the cousin of Xiao Ho Dun. And Yuan Shu was the commander of the Imperial Tiger Guards in the capital when the eunuchs killed Commander-in-Chief Hu Jin. He led his guards to go kill the eunuchs. Dong Zhuo gave him a job, but he fled when he found out about that. He feared Dong Zhuo and what he would do. In the campaign against Dong, whenever the coalition was formed by his half-brother Yuan Shao, Sun Jian would join him and lead his men. Sun Jian found the Imperial Sil over in the capital of Lu Yang, which had been burned down by the Dong. And he gave it to Yuan Shu, which caused a few issues later on. But anyway, here comes my infantry right now. They're charging forward. I do my best to let you know a few notes about each character that I know stuff about. That way, you know, whenever you're playing, you'll know more about them. Like over here is Xiao Ho Yuan. He should be fighting for Satsao, but he's fighting for Yuan Shu right now. There's not too much else going on other than my horsemen now moving in from the rear. They're going to really tear up our foes. The enemy has horsemen too, though. We'll have to engage what little they do have, then still set off after their archers. If we can hit their archers, we can win, at least over here. The other army of Yuan Shu that hasn't quite made it here yet, I don't know what we're going to do about them, but here's all the enemy archers right now. A few of them are actually firing off a few volleys towards my horsemen. I'm going to zoom out now. And you can see... That my horsemen are finally clashing. They're finally meeting these archers. They're all going to break so very quickly. They are not going to make it. And already, Xiao Ho Yuan 
is fleeing. He's taking a lot of damage and he's leaving already. The real action is over here right now, watching my horsemen. All we're doing over here by the gap is holding it. But my horsemen, all four groups of them are doing a fantastic job at stopping the army of Yuan Shu. If we can defeat Yuan Shu here, he will lose it all. We will make him lose it all. I like how these two are traveling in sync right now. And over here, my horsemen are eliminating what remains of their archers. They're all breaking. The Battle of Chang'an, Jade Bed, summer of 195. I can't believe it's already 195, but we've had some very difficult scenarios. In the future, as I know the game even more intimately, the I'll be able to handle those please. issues. So while that is going on, let's go check out who's over here. The very large army of Yuan Shu. Cheng Ma is here, and Yan Xiang. Don't forget about Yuan Shu. He's here too. Let's go have a look at him. The enemy I feel like fallen. his storyline would be quite difficult to make into a happy one. Either way, he's moving in right now. There goes Yuan Shu leading his men into combat. If we look at it right now, he's got various units of halberds. He's got bowmen, crossbowmen, actually. Wow. And over here, the rapid tiger infantry, medium sword infantry. If you take a look at them real quick, they're pretty beefy. They're pretty tough. Let's go have a closer look at them. We haven't actually looked at them yet. You can see what they look like now. No shields, only a sword. They're pretty large swords, too. But here comes the army of Yuan Shu. They're still traveling towards our outpost right now. Thousands of men coming to fight us. But only so many can fight us because we have, again, passes for them to try to really break through. All we had to do when I left here was chase after all of those who remain. The horsemen are now sweeping over what's left of their own horsemen. They beat them quickly. I wonder if I killed his wife. Anyway, here comes my own soldiers. We've got two Jian infantry captains. We've got some swordsmen, some saber militia, and a lot of horsemen. I'm moving them right over here where we can hold them. My overlapping towers will provide some support. Here they come now. That is a lot of halberds, man. Yuan Shu is moving forward. For now, because we're not going to have to move for long, let's just wait over here and watch the battle kind of unfold for a little bit. They're being hit by some volleys right now. They're already charging in. If there's like a bit more of a smooth factor, to the little camera movement whenever you insert it onto a unit, I would use it more, but it's way too jittery, so I don't really like to use it. But as you can see here, my few soldiers can hold off many. My towers are dealing quite a bit of damage. If they had fire arrows, I would have been done for. But these towers alone offer a lot of help. They've lost a leader already. Let's go have a look around here. No matter what they do, I will be around using my towers to shoot them. They could be right in the middle of a formation, but I would still be able to hit them. Here comes some horsemen now. They're being shot up too. The goal is to hit them with more infantry. I'll be sending in even more as we speak. Here they come right now. These are brave individuals. You're doing a great job at holding this location. A location that I thought I would really lose. Another enemy general is now dead. Let's zoom out real quick. You can see now that they're all grouped up. All the while, my horsemen are over here getting ready to charge in after all of these crossbowmen and one or two groups of archers. I'm sure they've been able to get many kills. I mean, they're constantly firing arrows and bolts into the fight. But here it comes now. You can see 
that they're all grouped up, which works in my favor. Chiang Ma is the only one who remains. Now I have units who have formed up on their flanks and are now charging in, hitting them on their flank. Now they're being completely enveloped on two sides. And all the while, these horsemen are charging in, taking out all of these crossbows and archers together. Their battle has been lost. There isn't too much to them anymore. The only goal we have is to chase down everyone. That's it. Well, we can see that they're about to break. They don't have much left. We were able to hold this location and beat them. If I were to attack this location, trust me, I would have lost a lot of soldiers too. It would not have been easy. You need artillery, you need ranged units, you need a lot. But I used my horsemen. My horsemen were fantastic. What's really cool is that you're actually able to defend little locations like this. You don't have to have an army in every single town. You can actually use your garrison and maybe win a battle and not have to bring your army all the way back home. But that's it. Ching Ma is fleeing. Yuan Shu lost. We got his wife too. They're all fleeing now. You can see that it was a very, very costly battle for them. There's a mass of soldiers all here. We completely boxed them in. They weren't all compressed like that until much later. But now, I just spend my time chasing down every single unit I can. We've won the battle. That's it. There's really nothing left for me to hunt down. We can call it now. But that one battle may have cost the livelihood of the Yuan Shu faction. Yuan Shu. Mm -mm. He's no more. We've taken out Ma Ting. Yuan Shu has many enemies back at home, or will have many more enemies back at home. I have plenty of friends. Surprisingly, I have like two. Plenty. I worked very hard to be able to beat Yuan Shu. I even forged a new coalition to fight him. But look at where he's at now. He's been captured. I could release him for a bit of coin, or I could take his celestial sphere. You know what? I like it a lot. Let's kill him. They must be made an example. And while we're here, chaos. we can take up a little bit of replenishment or more money. I'm going to take my money. Release them. If they come back, they're going to be in big trouble. Oh, you came back too, Gong Tu. Well, have fun. Let's have a look at the battle map real quick. We do have a very tiny outpost. I won't be able to beat them, but if I can wound even one leader, that would be great. If I could kill one leader, that would be even better. Let's go try it out. It's a battle that we can't win, but I want to find it anyway. If we can find any way to wound them, that would be fantastic. I love how they're causing a fire right over here. The only unique guy that we haven't really run into would be Han Xian. We have Gong Du. We have over here Zheng Kai. But the new guy would be Han Xian. Yeah, Han Xian was one of the leaders of the White Wave Bandits. Around 100,000 Yellow Turbans rose up in the Shi Hu Commandery. Later, he was called by Yang Feng, a former White Wave Bandit, to help fight Li Zhu and Guo Xi to defend the Emperor, who escaped in 195. Cao Cao would later beat him when he took the Emperor, and he would go on to serve Yuan Shu. Later, when Liu Bei would kill Yang Feng, he left the service of Yuan Shu and was killed elsewhere. There's more to it, but it's really just a few notes for him. They're going to be able to take this location from me, but it's really okay. I'll be able to take towns from Gongdu. Gongdu doesn't really have long left. If you look at it right now, they have got some talented soldiers too, horseback huntsmen. But if I can wipe out even a few units, it'll take them time to replenish their numbers. That works in my favor. Over here we have Hushu, another healer. They have many healers in their army. I've already killed a lot. That works in my favor. They don't have a lot of sturdy soldiers. Right now I've got some swordsmen holding up. I was hoping they wouldn't have any flaming arrows, but they do, or I could have done a lot of damage. Right now my archers are sitting out here. I was hoping to bait them. If I was able to bait them over to my archers, my towers over here would be able to shoot them too, but it didn't really work out. Instead, what I'm doing right now 
I'm letting my archers attack their main formation. I'm trying to wipe out a few groups of their own. The officers alone will be able to easily destroy me. Gongdu will wipe out probably 100, 200, to even 300 men. Gongdu is very, very strong. Here they come now, charging towards me. The peasantry is quite angry. Though they don't have a lot of arrows, I mean, they don't really need much. They only need a few in order to burn down my towers. One over here is able to hold out for a bit of time, but... Attack! Once it's lit, it'll be over. It's our final battle for the day, though, right now. I didn't mean for the part to be so long, but I was really enjoying myself, and I wanted to keep on going until we were able to finally beat our foes, and right now, we're charging in with our swordsmen. Hopefully, we can kill a few of them, even though Gongdu and Jinkai are here. I'm just very happy we beat the Bandit Queen. You don't really want to duel her. There's not very many who can beat her in a duel. You don't want to really fight her. But we managed to beat her army. One enemy general is gone. Oh, really? Jing Kai, you were taken down. Look at that. Jing Kai is gone now. He's probably only wounded, though. I doubt he's dead. Gong Du is pretty pissed off, though. He's lost it. Thankfully, he's not diving into my formation. And over here, Han Xian is holding close by. Let's go look over here at the other side where I'm also being attacked. They've got enough archers to burn down my towers. A few soldiers are heading in. The enemy unit flees. What cowards? Okay, you've got your first back huntsman. And here comes Hu Shu right now. It's incredible how sturdy and how stubborn Gong Du and his men have been. I was hoping to beat them easily. In the future, though, I'll let him take what he wants. I'll just dive right into his lands. He won't be able to hold it. It'll be way too weak. Trying to catch him on the fiddle is a bad idea. We managed to bravely wound his people. So now we can just take over his lands and come back later. You can see over here that it's pretty bad. Their leaders are now charging in. Gong Du is moving in. He's got a very large weapon. My settlement is currently on fire, and we have very little left of this battle to play out. My archers are over here. They've gotten how many kills? Over 150. They're at 160. Oh, nearly 170 now. My other archer is 87, so not nearly as many, but they're not nearly as good as my archers on the right flank. Well, from our perspective, right flank. Here comes Gong Du. Gong Du is charging in. Or he was for a minute. He changed his mind, though. Never mind. <laughs> that wasn't very dramatic at all. My swordsmen are holding the line, but not for much longer. There's no way for them to win. They just have to kill for now. I wonder what type of style the blood will be in whenever we get it. Right now, I've got my swordsmen still fighting outside. It's just a battle spread out all over the field. We'll one day retake this location, and we'll be better for it. But for now, I think I accomplished my goal, which was to, again, wound as many of these guys as I could. They're taking over the town square, or the town camp center, whatever you want to call it. When they do that, they'll take every single tower in the camp. That's really bad whenever you're outside of the camp. I didn't know that until this battle. My poor archers are now moving in. They're pretty tired. Hey, maybe they can kill these two guys. Some oh my god, man. You got so many arrows in your back. Die already. He's refusing to die. Okay. It's pretty much done, though. We can fast forward a little bit here. Just because there's not too much more to the fight. It was meant to be a defensive fight. Gong Du has already killed how many now? 57. He's about to kill a lot more, though. He's getting right into my archer militia. Now he's going to be able to just kill everyone in his own. I mean, look at that already. He's knocking down several with every strike. I can't wait to play Gong Du one day. I'm not sure which Yellow Terran I would like to play, but I really enjoy their story. I really enjoy what they're all about and how they play, too. They're quite difficult. At least, they're in very difficult positions. Gong Du's out here on his own. He did a great job against me, though. I mean, when you really think about it, his entire build and play style is built around being a true bandit. You've got to hit, then flee. Hit, and then flee. If he stays to fight on the field, he'll lose. But I couldn't catch him. Anyway. 
the battle is finally over. We've got a few archers left out here. They're about to take over. At least I thought whenever they took over this, like, um, camp middle, it would take over the all the freaking towers, but I, I guess not. Ha! Maybe not, then. There's, like, two points here that are still under my control somehow. They're just kind of, like, dancing out here while I have my own archers. Again, I was kind of hoping that I would be able to lure them out, but that did not work out. Yeah, as you can see, I try to get my guys to charge in. They're going to try to get a few kills. They're at 201 right now. Gong Du is just going to kill them all. There we go. We've got a few more kills. And Gong Du is getting a lot more as well. As I said before, it was not meant to be a battle that we could win. It was just about winning them and taking out mini units. And I guess we're going to find out whenever we're done here how many are, well, gone. What a monster. Just put down your weapon. I would even let you join me, but you refuse that. Oh, well. We've won many battles. It's only a minor town battle. Blue Boo will go take much more from him. We didn't win that battle, but we managed to wound one of their officers, in addition to wiping out many of their units, too. It'll take them a very long time to be able to replenish, I hope. While they were trying to replenish, I'm going to be able to conquer their final town in Wudu or forever. Oh, look at that. The coalition became a military alliance. Let's see here. Liu Dai and Yuan Shao. A few left. But they're now a stronger force because of it. The bandits are no longer fighting. Now Yuan Yao is leading the faction of Yuan Shu. Oh, they're back to fighting again. Okay, never mind. And while we're here, let's go take out our enemies. I mean, they're right here. We might as well get them. Hi there. Oh, you're all alone. They're all alone. Time for me to delegate. What a bad position to be in. If I could take out every office here, that would be amazing. I doubt it, but it would be amazing. Cheng Ma, you're cowardly, and I won't permit you to live. An unfortunate Goodbye. consequence of war. I'll take more replenishment. All deeds towards the design. I was hoping to capture or kill them all, but Each that'll work too. In oh, here we go. We captured an enemy officer. Let's see. During the to and fro of war, you managed to capture an enemy officer. Though he fought bravely, he is no fool. He offers himself to your service. Okay, he just joined me. Who joined me? Let's have a look. Okay, go see. Who the heck are you? I don't even want you here, man. You are an outsider. I could kill him. That would give me more intimidation. People would be angry. Sure, for five turns. It's only ten intimidation. That really is not too much, is it? Yeah, he lowers Cunning my money just by being here. He should have killed me financially, boss. and I knew it. Okay. On the march. I feel like you on shoot pretty soon is going to want some manner of peace treaty. None of you leveled up yet. That's okay. We killed another enemy over here, Lady Fing. She died. We killed his wife too. We killed Zhang Qing. We gained his celestial sphere. Awesome. Study of the heavens reveals the science of their motion. Nice. Character development, right. New character over here, and we have killed who? Ah, Zhu Shuo. He's dead as well. Well, we're going to call our episode here. We had a lot of blood spilled all over. We're finally beginning to take out Gong Du. After I beat Gong Du, who knows where I'll go. Leave a like and comment right down below. And I'm really enjoying our campaign here. It's difficult, but I'm really enjoying it. And look forward to more tomorrow. Until then.